So I am very honored to be here with uh, Her Excellency uh, Mushira Khattab, that all the world know, of course, for her uh, strong action uh, about peace and uh, women's rights and human rights. Uh, of course, uh, she create uh, a law against uh, genital female mutilation when she was Minister of Family and Population in Egypt. And now we are uh, very uh, uh, proud to have her as a candidate of the UNESCO uh, General uh, uh, Director. So uh, UNESCO uh, uh, gave me some congratulation for my donation of ancient manuscript from my dynasty, I am the Count Federico Bardal, to Alexandria Library UNESCO, and uh, I am involved with the United Nations, but especially with uh, uh, human rights. Uh, so now I, I give uh, the, the, the means I liked that uh, Her Excellency can say to this great audience uh, something about uh, her action, I think about uh, education against uh, any manipulation is uh, education of course is a, a topic of UNESCO and so I like to hear directly from her. Thank you very much for uh, hosting me and uh, I think the role of UNESCO now is very important uh, in all the fields of its mandate and I am grateful to you that you mentioned education and uh, the protection against manipulation of the mind. And I think this is what the world needs right now. We need people who are uh, well informed, who can make informed decisions, who will not uh, easily fall for any manipulation to join any harmful action like uh, terrorism, like extremism and uh, it's a great tool of protection to educate every girl and boy and education that empowers them with life skills and education that makes them citizens of the world because we share the same humanity we are members of the same global community our heritage collaborate together to establish a culture of peace. We need science and technology as a way of life to, to be scientific in our thinking, to be forward looking, to love everybody, to open our arms for everybody in order to promote peace. Absolutely, and at this point, uh, I'd like to mention uh, genius uh, Guglielmo Marconi, the inventor of the radio and wireless. Uh, I am uh, proud to be close friend of uh, uh, Princess Electra Marconi and Guglielmo Marconi, the uh, uh, that uh, I, uh, I like to mention uh, that uh, a motto, a statement of Marconi was about technology, etc. My inventions are only in for the benefit of uh, humanity and uh, sure not uh, for its destruction. So uh, we are in the era of internet so all of you are in internet maybe now and so we have to keep in mind uh, we plan with Her Excellency Mushira Katab a conference with uh, hopefully with the Princess Electra Marconi and Guglielmo Marconi and this is education so as uh, Her Excellency uh, said if you all of you are educated will be very difficult to manipulate each of you. And I think this is the most important purpose, uh, not only of UNESCO, but for all the humanity to prevent problems. 
problems are wars, terrorism, conflicts that uh, uh, by education could be eliminated or uh, we hope, uh, sure, could be much less. And so, of course, I know that uh, many, many, many women in Egypt are grateful to Her Excellency Mushira Khartab for her law. She created a law against female genital mutilation. And I think uh, it uh, is and was the first law in all Arab world. And so is uh, an example for the world. Sorry for my comment, but no, I give back <laughs> the, uh, maybe no. your voice could be a little bit high yes, for the I, television. Uh, I want to thank you for what you said about Marconi, and I think the great invention of Marconi is now uniting the world, informing the world through radio, television, internet. We can connect, we can work together, we can promote peace together. And this is the value of education, education for innovation. Marconi invented something very useful, a tool for peace, a tool for uh, uh, rescuing people in emergencies. It is really very, very important to educate for innovation and creation, which Marconi symbolizes. And I'm very happy to say this. You mentioned female genital mutilation, and I thank you for mentioning that. And I want to say that UNESCO right now has gender equality as a priority, as a cross-cutting theme for all its work. And uh, it's a very important issue now because gender equality is a tool for peace, for security, for economic improvement and empowerment. Countries that have closer gender gap are the countries with the highest standard of living. So gender equality is a tool for a better standard of living as much as it is a tool for peace and prosperity. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so I think what uh, Her Excellency said uh, all of us we can keep in mind uh, often uh, in uh, the different moment of our life to have a better life better harmony with uh, the other because of course we live we like to live uh, in peace in harmony with the, with all the people and I agree with you, and I invite all member states of UNESCO, 195 uh, states are members of UNESCO, I invite them all to support UNESCO, to empower UNESCO, to carry out its mandate, because right now, at this very critical time when we're facing radicalization of youth, when we're facing extremism, when we're facing terrorism, the message of UNESCO is very, very important, and the world needs it more than ever. So let's all together unite for a stronger UNESCO. Thank you so much, Her Excellency Mushira Khattab. Thank you to all of you, and uh, often we will have a great speech again uh, with Her Excellency uh, Mushira Khattab uh, Thank you so much.